Now we will consider a numerical example for the case with zero input. So, this is zero input you can imagine that there was a voltage source here which is set to zero and I will assume that the capacitor voltage at t equal to 0 is 5 volts. Okay. Now, we know that with 0 input the variables uh, all the variables in the circuit and in particular the capacitor voltage follows this. Okay. And the time constant R c for this case is the product of R and C and let us say R is 2 kilo ohms and C is 1 nano farad, then R C is 2 kilo ohms times 1 nano farad which is equal to 2 micro seconds. Okay. And the initial condition is already given to be 5 volts. So, the solution to this is 5 volts exponential minus T by tau which is 2 micro seconds. Okay. Now, it is also useful to always sketch these to find out how they look like. At t equal to 0, obviously, it starts at 5 volts, this is V c and it has an exponential shape. Okay, and the slope at t equal to zero, you can find by differentiating this and setting t equal to zero. So the slope at t equal to zero will turn out to be minus five volt by two microseconds, or minus two point five ten to the six volts per second. Now this can also be inferred from the circuit at t equal to 0, we have 5 volts here and 5 volts there, Okay, they are in parallel. So, a current of 2.5 milliamps, which is this 5 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms will be flowing that way. And we know that the rate of change of capacitor voltage is the current divided by the capacitance and the current if you take the signs for V c this way and by passive sign convention the capacitor current is minus 2.5 milli amperes and C is 1 nano farad. Okay. So, this will come out to be minus 2.5 volts per microsecond. So, you can see it directly from the circuit as well and this is also important to be able to look at the circuit and gauge the answers. So, it will start off with a slope. Okay. If you calculate the slope of that line, it will be minus 2.5 volt per microsecond or minus 2.5 times 10 to the 6 volts per second. But of course, the slope would not stay that way. It will keep on continuously reducing and asymptotically the voltage goes to 0. Okay. This is V c of so, one point of interest is if you draw a tangent at t equal to 0, where does it meet the x axis? Okay, That is the 0 volt line. This is where the voltage is 0 volts. So, this is a tangent and we know that the slope is minus 2.5 volts per microseconds. Okay. So, if you calculate this time, it will be 2 microsecond and it is exactly the same as tau. I am showing this as a numerical example, but if you use the general form of the expression V c of uh, 0 exponential minus t by tau, then the initial slope is minus V c of 0 by tau. Okay. So, if you keep on continuing over that line and go down by an amount equal to V c of 0, 
you will reach tau and at t equals tau if you look at the voltage you will be easily able to calculate that this is phi by e where e is the natural exponent okay and in general if you call this as 100% or unity wherever it starts from then you draw a tangent it hits the zero line at t equals tau and you will see that it could have fallen by 63.2% over one time constant okay and you can continue this i mean for instance you can draw a tangent at this point and where it will hit the zero line will be one tau away from this one time constant away from this so this will be 4 microseconds okay because this is a 2 microsecond and it's one to one tau away from that one and again if you look at how much it has gone down by if you call this as 100% now this part will be 63.2% okay so all these are basically saying in different words that what we have here is an exponential okay so these properties are all uh, useful to know again not as uh, memorizing facts but by understanding them and calculating them for a few example cases okay